Hi everyone, it's Emily from Life So Savory and I'm here today on the Brother Sews blog to show you how to make a really cute embroidered bunting two different ways. So I have some sticky stabilizer, some water soluble stabilizer, my bunting, some felt, and embroidery thread to get started. I am going to embroider on the first bunting piece by placing it on sticky stabilizer and then on top you're going to place some water soluble stabilizer to help the embroidery thread not sink into that burlap bunting. So we want the letters to be nice and puffy and full on top of there. I am writing let it snow and I'm starting in the middle of the bunting just to give myself a frame of reference and so here's the S that I've imported from my computer and then I've set to embroider on my machine. I'm going to go ahead and slide the hoop that I already preset with that sticky stabilizer and bunting. And now you can see that I just need to place that water soluble stabilizer on top. So you can go ahead and just hold it with your hands while you begin the embroidery. And then once the outline is done, then I can go ahead and let go of that and it will continue to embroider just fine. You could also pin or clip this water soluble stabilizer, the top stabilizer in place if you want to. So as I'm embroidering, you're going to see that this top stabilizer helps those letters and the thread to really pop out of the top. When you're using a non-traditional fabric or texture, this top stabilizer really helps the letters to form well and to look great when they're finished. I also tried hooping my bunting the other way and then I was able to get two on a sheet of sticky stabilizer. For the second type of bunting, I'm creating applique letters with felt and the stitches is going to go around the outline of the letter and then we will place the felt. So the pattern design that I imported is now going to outline the letter right on to my bunting piece. So you can see I have not added the felt yet, but this is just going to tell me where I need to place that felt once the outline is created. So we're creating the letter E here for the word love and once this finishes with the outline stitching, then I go ahead and place the felt on top. It will outline again, and then it will sew that nice satin stitch all the way around the applique, and then I'll trim my felt later, which I will show you. These letters are really cute, and the felt pops from the bunting in such a fun way. You could use faux leather, cork, I've used felt, so many different ideas for this. Remove the bunting from the sticky stabilizer and then go ahead and trim really closely with your tiny pair of scissors to trim out the letters. For the let it snow, because it was more than one word, I added a snowflake that I cut out on my scan and cut made from felt to the bunting to help separate the letters. I think this looked really nice and added some extra detail to my bunting. Now I can go ahead and hang this on my mantle and we'll enjoy this for the rest of the winter season. And then once February hits, I will hang up my love felt bunting to add a little Valentine touch to our house. 